Hey guys, welcome to Reflection Thursday, where every Thursday I look back through my week and I find something to share with you here in this video. So this past weekend was, of course, 4th of July, and I got to hang out with some of my friends where uh, it'll be included in this next Sunday's Snap Sunday, so be sure to look out for that. Overall, I had a great time. Originally, uh, there was two events that I was going to go to and decided I should just go to this one. Glad I made that decision. It was super easy, and I went and, you know, grabbed some drinks and other things. It's 4th of July, what do you expect me to do? Overall, I had a great time. This was actually the first time I've actually stayed until like closing, uh, which was around two o'clock. This was at a friend's house, but it was actually really fun. And uh, it, I, I really enjoyed my time there. And it just reminds me that, you know, I have a really good set of friends and, you know, people who have friends who I then become friends with. And it's just this whole slew of people that I can build relationships with. And that's something that I really, really prize on myself. But during this one event, I had a question that I posed to a couple people. And I wanted to uh, mention it to you all because I love you guys and would love to hear your opinions on this. Understand that I do have a lot of friends who happen to be in relationships. I have a lot of friends who are single. I have friends who are gay, straight, bisexual, all that crazy shit. But the one thing that's very interesting is the fact, the number of times I've heard people say how open-minded they are. I think that, you know, it's, it's very funny to hear it. So I posed a question to these people. Let's just say you were in a non-relationship, like you were, you were single, you were not in a relationship whatsoever, and you hadn't gotten any stuff in a long time. Uh, but you go to a friend who happens to be gay, straight, whatever, you go to your friend and say, hey, I am having, I need some, I have tension that needs to be released, can you, can we just do this one time, just do it and be done with, would you do it? So surprisingly, a lot of them would say, Yes, some people would say no, which is great. And the thing I find is funny is that the people who said that they were open-minded really had to think about it. My favorite one is I did have one who was a female and she said that she would not do it because she is not interested in like vagina or something, which is understandable. You know, some people don't really have their tastes, but maybe is it something that you learn as you keep going and and something that you, as you grow and you meet other people, that's something that you'll eventually grow out of. And maybe you're willing to kind of open your mind up a little bit. Because I personally think that in this day and age, we have such a thing that, you know, everyone does everybody. That's at least in my personal thing. And because we're in America, we really, there is like a human condition that we've all kind of been trained to that you either like a woman or you like a man. There's no way you can like both. And the whole argument that bisexuality is not a thing is actually, I personally think is actually a lie. There are people who actually choose to like both genders, which is fantastic. Personally, for me, uh, when I was thinking about it, like I thought the answer, or I was thinking of the answer myself, I personally wouldn't do because I'm not, or at least if it was like a female, like someone turned it around on me and said, well, would you ask someone of the opposite ge uh, gender to do it? I said, no, I wouldn't because I've been so, um, I've been with so many men and have been more, for me, been more tuned to guys that for me, going for a woman would just be it's nothing. So personally, I wouldn't do that. But you know, if I had a straight friend who came up to me and said, "Hey, I need some tension release. Could you do it? Could you? Could we just hook up this once?" I'd be like, "Yeah, sure, no big deal." So let me know in the comments down below. What if you got the opportunity to ask your a, a friend of your gender to hook up once? just to get some tension released, would you do it? And don't forget, on July 31st is going to be our live show of Return Home at the Midsummer Scream Convention in Long Beach, California. If you would like to go, um, just go on to midsummerscream.org. I'm gonna include the link in the description down below. And if you purchase tickets, if you use the Return Home coupon code, all one word, you get 30% off of your t general mission. I mean, you should totally do that, just a thought. So thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Reflection Thursday. If you like the video, please don't forget to like down below and subscribe. There are new videos every single Monday and Thursday. All of my social media links, including the link to Return Home, The Way I See It, and my merchandise shop are located in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, my name is Forrest, and remember, pink cake. <gasps> Woo!